Hey YouTube. I'm just going to do, this is kind of a response video about um, losing weight and I don't know, just some of my thoughts and um, I'm responding to um, Marmar31484. Um, I watch a lot of your videos and I agree with everything you're saying about losing weight and um, that it's more than just eating less to lose weight. Um, that's really not even what losing weight's all about. Um, so I'll just give a little background and some of my thoughts on that. Um, but if you guys are watching this, um, check out some of her videos. She's really real in her videos and um, I really like how she just puts her ideas out there and um, they're, they're really good videos, so check them out. But anyways, um, I'll just give a little background on me. I, never, I didn't really do this before I started uh, my weight loss journey videos and all that. But um, I pretty much have struggled with my weight, I guess, since I was 10. I would say I've always been a little overweight. And when I graduated high school is when it really started getting to be a problem and I never really got made fun of or anything um, growing up from my way I mean I've had some comments here and there but my family on my dad's side they're all very stick thin beautiful um, I don't know they're all very materialistic and beautiful and stick thin and my mom's side on the other hand is not they're all overweight, short. My mom's only 4'11", um, and I'm 5'1". So my dad is 6 foot, so I, I, I'm still short, so I guess I didn't get his height or his metabolism. My dad can eat anything he wants, and it doesn't matter. He's 6 foot, and he only weighs, he's actually underweight, 145 pounds. But anyways, um, my mom is overweight. She's always been overweight ever since I was born even before then as well. Um, and I get my metabolism from her. But what started my um, overeating and gaining weight, I guess, was my parents' relationship wasn't very good at all. And I was an only child until I was five. Um, and my brothers, I have two brothers, they came along. And I had to constantly listen to fighting. And it was, it was a stressful environment in my house. And I turned to eating to help me feel better. And um, growing up, we had all the junk you can imagine. Um, cookies, cakes, ice cream, frozen pizzas, anything bad for you, we had it. Um, all processed foods. I mean, my mom cooked a dinner every night, but a lot of times the dinners were still processed foods. Um, she did make me drink milk every night, which was good. And... We did get vegetables and things, but um, I don't know if my mom just didn't know. I, I'm finding a lot of Americans just don't know that these foods are bad for you. And um, a lot of parents, I understand you're busy. I, I understand oh, there's a lot going on, but we need to put ourselves first in our health because if we don't have our health, we don't have anything. And um, I mean... The fast food and things, it's just bad. It tastes good, it really does, but it's its just bad. And I, my heart breaks when I see all these kids wanting to go to these fast food places for the toy or whatever. And it's just not, it's not giving our kids a good start in life. And I really wish that my mom and my parents, well, both my parents, I wish they would have started me out eating healthy things. Personally, when I have a child, I'm not going to let junk food in my house. And I don't now. And I want to teach my kids to eat healthy from a very young age. And I'm hoping, hoping that they will enjoy fruits and vegetables. And I'm not going to be feeding them, you know, Pop-Tarts and all these sugary, sugary cereals and um, snack cakes and everything. It's just not coming in my house. So... 
yeah, that's what really started with me. I had it. I love the taste of it. And I still love the taste of it till this day. And I have to constantly remind myself, these have chemicals in them that are not good for you, trans fats, everything. Um, and I struggle with it on a daily basis. And what I think a lot of overweight people, they get judged. And people look at them and they think, oh, well, they're just lazy. And all they need to do is stop eating the bad food. Just cut out what you're eating. And my own father has told me, oh, well, just don't eat as much. It's not that simple. It's really not. Um, you can... Do that, but then if you don't tackle the problem that's deep inside every overweight person, which when you see an overweight person who's extremely overweight or even a little um, bit overweight, there's something that that person is struggling with personally, and they're not wanting to talk about it, so they eat. And when I see someone who's very extremely overweight, I hurt for them so bad because I know, and I've been there, and it's, it's, I wouldn't call it straight depression, but there's days when I'm depressed, and I don't know why, and I shouldn't be, I mean, I have a wonderful husband, I have a house, I have a nice life, I have a good job, things like that, but, um, it's just, it's hard to explain unless you are overweight and you know what I'm talking about. Um, and today, actually, I had a rough day today. I don't know. I get these thoughts in my head. I, I just woke up this morning and I felt like <sighs> losing weight is so hard. You know, I'm, I'm doing all this stuff and I just feel like I'm always going to be fat. And if you have always been fat, and since you can remember, I've been fat for 20 years. And if you've never been really fit or thin, it's really hard to picture as an overweight person that you will get there. And I just have to tell myself, stop thinking like this. I need to push all these thoughts out of my mind and think, no, you just be consistent. You do it. This is a day that you're going to stick to your healthy lifestyle and don't listen to those thoughts and just do this. You can do this. And I have to constantly tell myself this. And you can only imagine when you're having a bad day or something goes wrong and you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to eat healthy, you're trying to work out, and then something just blows up in your face. That's the last thing you want to do. But you have to just be strong and tell yourself, no, I can do this. I'm stronger than the food. I don't need to go to the food. Um, as an overweight person, you almost feel that the food is calling you and it's really it's really hard to explain unless you've been there and know what I'm talking about but it's so easy to just turn to food when you're not feeling good because I mean it's there it's not gonna judge you it tastes good it's there um, but as an overweight person we need to turn away from the food and deal with the problem because if we don't deal with our problems they're never gonna go away and they're just going to get worse and worse. And I've done this. I just use the food to numb the problem. I feel good for that moment. And then after I eat the food, I feel terrible. And you guys know what I'm talking about if you've been there. Um, it's just, it's really crazy. And I mean, I had a tough day today. And um, I don't know. I just... I want to put these ideas out there and let you guys know and encourage all you guys who are trying to lose weight that we can do this. Just put those bad thoughts out of your head and say, you know what, I can do this. I know I can do this. It's tough today. It might be tough tomorrow, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to live healthy. I'm going to at least walk for 10, 15 minutes today. Something. Make a positive change. We can do this. Um, and Marmar... 31484. Um, I really like your videos. Um, you also inspire me, and um, I think we could do this together. So um, keep going. It's I know it's tough. It's very tough for me, but I'm going to push through, and um, I wish all you guys luck out there. Um, if you have questions for me, just subscribe and um, leave me a comment, but um, good luck, guys, and let's keep going. Thanks.